the only possible way that I'm gonna wake up at 6.30 on a Saturday in the morning is to attend what might be one of the best cars and coffee events of the entire year in Michigan. And at St. John's is hosting it, the Concord de Elegance is this weekend. We'll be there for the whole weekend, but the cars that are already confirmed that will be there, there's gonna be a blue McLaren P1, light blue Aventador SV, uh, Ferrari Enzo, Bugatti Veyron, there's a couple of new Ford GTs. It'll be very insane, so let's head out. Holy crap, there's the P1. Oh my God. We're parked, arriving slightly early, got me decent parking, but that doesn't really matter. All the cars are pouring, you can see them all over there. We're gonna go find the P1 before this place gets way too packed. Oh my God, hello. Oh my god. Holy cow. Look at that color. Beautiful car, sir. Thank you. Slightly difficult to get out of? Well, we are 67 years old. Go ahead. Thank you. Makes it a little more challenging. Yeah. Holy but I've cow. I've got worse. All right. Thank you very much. All Appreciate right. it. Yep. Parking the really, really, really nice cars together. Look who finally decided to show up. Beautiful black 458, along with the uh, manual R8 Spider V10. My four squared. Just absurd sized. Something I noticed, they don't have the rear wheel on the back of these, the spare tire thing. Uh, I think I like it better on this one. Oh god, that beautiful one. The Speciale. Wait, what? What you been? What? Uber me! <laughs> What's up? What's up? Holy crap. GT. Oh my god. Center lock wheels. This color. Doctor on Instagram. <laughs> Ford GT Forum is here. Oh my god, and a Diablo. Holy. And an LFA. Oh my what god. the heck? What? Wide LA? Zephyr's old Huracan. The wide Liberty Walk, or whatever the hell, wide body. When the Platinum, they're coming in. When the Platinum Motor Cars crew shows up. What would you take, a Speciale or the SV Roadster? You take the SV Roadster or the new GT? I didn't get a close-up look at this one yet. Carbon wheels. I want.
wonder out of these three, which one's gonna be the most valuable in the future? That's a fun exercise. Cause especially it's a Ferrari. Like Ferraris always are this that's the most the rare. Most. No, this will be worth the most. You think that's steady right now? Right. Those have held steady, yeah, and they've built way more. Yeah. But these are gonna go up to a thousand production units. Which one's your favorite, Pickett? Definitely the Saturn. Saturn. Oh my god. It's extinct. You can't get them anymore. Actually. What? Oh, look at this interior, it's insane. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back over to the main line. <laughs> Holy crap. This is currently my favorite GT just because of the color. Paint the sample. And then we have a Ford 8, AMG, Huracan. Oh, a 650S showed up. Correction, I messed up. That Ford GT is Riviera Blue. Riviera Blue, not Voodoo Blue. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> While he wears a Porsche shirt. It is a Porsche paint color, though. It's Riviera Blue, not Voodoo. Whoops. Dude, this is the Fiesta ST from the uh, auto show and the posters that was supposed to get like crushed, that crazy liquid blue color with the white inserts. And it was like somehow, it was somehow like auctioned off and sold. I forgot to crush it. Yeah, like it somehow made it through. It's see, like this is the normal. Oh, because this is the same. This That's is the, the, this GT is the GT liquid color. blue. Yeah. They had this as the Focus RS one as well. Yeah, there was a lineup of like all the five cars on the poster that was all over the place. Goodbye. Bye, John. Old Aston sedan. New Aston sedan, the Honda, and a repeat. And look what's right here. Look up, and then there's just an Enzo chilling here. Look at this interior. Is it full carbon? Oh. Wow. Cloth. Weight savings. Sweatshirt. Sweatshirt. <laughs> Sam sweatshirt adds extra weight. You can really see how the wheels are blue in this lighting. Hope that conveys on camera. They're a really dark blue. Tirestickers.com. <laughs> <laughs> we're not plugging them. What are you doing? <laughs> Finishing touch auto spa. We were talking about this earlier. Now we're actually in the trailer. Look at this Celine. Got the doors open. Literally number zero. First production vehicle. And it's pristine right now. Enzo rolled in, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Good sounds. Holy cow. LFA is leaving. Look at this Diablo. JL Audio. That's what uh, Milspec is using for their cars. I've sat one of these once and I like don't fit. Like my neck, I can't like sit up straight. They're they're not comfortable. JV. JV? <laughs> At Junior Varsity. Look how big that engine is. Holy cow. It's like the most poorly written S ever. <laughs> It doesn't have the giant side decals like the other SVs do. No, no, I'm pretty sure it's real. I'm kidding. <laughs> Turn it on. Whoa! That shoots up. The Bugatti is here. Yeah, me too. They're on things. That interior spec actually is pretty nice. Black and red. It's a, it's a kit car. Machine right? aluminum. <laughs> this is not one of the kit cars. There are a couple in Michigan. This is not one of them. Got no, the, the chrome answer. one? That ain't a kid, man. That's real. <laughs> totally real. That chrome one is real. Ignore these idiots. This is 100% no, real. The Woodward page says it's real. <laughs> which one Which one would you guys take? The chrome, the chrome kit car. No, no. This one or that one? Enzo. Enzo? Yeah. Right. I'd for sure take the Enzo. <laughs> Really? Are you you're huge one. Really? I'm concerned about your overall size. I've gotten one before. Oh, have you? Yeah, when I was at the Proving Grounds. Okay, guys, I get one. You're welcome. I'll hold, I'll, hold, I'll hold the mug. I'm a holy crap, yeah. I'm in a GT with. Do you care if you're on camera? No, oh, that's fine. At 4 GT Forum. Yeah, these are rather cramped. Where do you
take his all oh, over there. There's space over there. Yeah. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Fine. This is the race mode. Listen, you point the camera out and everyone will go, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Button right here. Yeah, it's pressed. Door swing out. I have a mug. Oh yeah, I'll take you up. All right, crawl out of the GT. Graceful exit. <laughs> this is quite a combination right here. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Somebody needs to bring the the P1 guy needs to put his in the middle. Oh my god, yes. That would be insane. Anytime you hear stupid comments in the background, it's probably Sam. He has himself admitted that he just says stupid shit. <laughs> About to go for a ride in the GT. Time to get in again, gracefully. Woo. Look at the key. Seatbelt. Bye, Eddie. Bye. I'll be back. Oh my god. Raise it up. So we can go. Ooh. Ooh. It's amazing how quick it does it. I know. It's actually kind of disconcerting. It is, because I'm used to like like slowly like that bag of hydraulics going up. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> You're not gonna bother competing? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Look at all these little details. Getting real getting to know Dave real well. We gotta sit really closely. Man, the view out of the mirror seeing that buttress is amazing. Right. Left, we have a whole crowd. Yeah, everybody's watching. So do a donut crowd. <laughs> no. <laughs> that sounds good under load. What mode is that in? Um, that's just a sport with uh, automatic. Okay. How's the dual clutch? Um, it's a it's a get drag box. It's a very okay. Four five eight. So it's oh, okay, cool. Imagine it's definitely a good one then. It's actually pretty comfortable once I'm in. Like, it's not bad. The only yeah. thing that you don't get, I mean, because of the cockpit, you have to you know kind of lay back. Yeah. I usually sit more upright. Okay. But yeah. like these seats aren't that restricted. Like, no, they're not at I'm all. Pretty actually, they're very actually. comfortable. Yeah. And once I'm in, space isn't bad. Obviously, we're close. It actually has more headroom than the old. Oh, really? Yeah. Because yeah. oh, your ass is lower on the toe. Gotcha. Those turbo noises are insane. The little sink screen. <laughs> yeah. I love the anodized red start button. Well, you know, a lot of people talk shit about this interior online, but yeah, all of this stuff, it's it's milled milled aluminum. Oh, wow. Okay, you know, so I mean, uh, I get it in a picture, it doesn't really translate. Yeah, yeah. But these are milled aluminum. It's, it feels like it's extremely it's, high quality. Yeah, it's really, it's, you got just full carbon. This, this is the actual door panel. You know, oh, really? It's not, it's not a cover. Yeah. It's this very, is an actual structural tom. Okay. Does it have a heads up display? No, it no. actually, that space there, it used to be bare. Okay. But they threw that Alcantara piece of gotcha. the reflection. Okay. See the engine back there? rides really well too. Oh yeah, and this is, Sport doesn't actually change the suspension. Okay. If you ride it, there's, in normal mode, you can put it, the uh, suspension in comfort. Yeah. It's like, why would you ever do that? Yeah, yeah. This Considering is like, how this is, I'm yeah, like, even not great road. Exactly, Michigan roads suck and it's pretty comfortable. Holy crap! 
This thing is a monster. I love the huge gear shift indicator too. It's a nice screen. Yeah, and if you change it, it'll change so it's like, ooh, it'll put the speed. Yeah, the tachometer is up there. Nice. Do you miss it not being manual because it fits the character of this car so much better, right? No, I don't really miss it. Okay. I mean, it's, you know, they're they're different purpose cars. Yeah, so. okay. makes sense. The old car's really nice to drive around because you're, even if you're not hauling ass, you can kind of, you're, you're always doing something and engaging with the car, but it's, yeah. it's, it's a lot softer okay. than this car. You know, this car is so hard edged. Yeah.